it now says three minutes. Let's hope these three minutes are for real because your girl is tired. It looks like I have arrived 12 minutes later and the time has clearly passed. So good morning guys and I'm having breakfast. The great thing about this hostel is that they do provide breakfast. So they provided me croissant, some biscuits and a juice. I am going to stop over because I'm a hungry ass woman. Um, I'm going to stop over and have some breakfast somewhere. Trust me, you don't want to see me when I'm hungry. Angry and hungry at the same damn time. It's actually really nice. It's clean for one and it's just literally a street away from the airport. And the owner of the place is like really receptive and really nice and welcoming even though I arrived quite late. So the airport is here and the hostel is literally there. And then if I, that's the rail station. And if you go all the way up, that's where pizza. See, that's the main town. So I've just left the hostel and I'm walking with my new friend Sharon. <laughs> um, tell them where you're from, Sharon. I'm from Uruguay. Uruguay. Yeah. 14 hours it took her to get here and she's also by herself. When you stay in a hostel, you can easily make friends like any time as long as you're like your friendly person and you're open to it and luckily she knows the way to the leaning tower and I don't it's kind of different to Venice Venice is more like it has more like an old vintage feel the yeah. houses so traveling as we were talking here with Sharon is all about being independent especially with solo travel Sharon is a mum <laughs> she's married and yet she's here traveling by herself Let me tell you about the girl, baby, I should, I met her in fit. Just parted ways with Sharon and she was such a lovely lady and we promised each other that I would visit Uruguay on my South American journey. And her name was Brad Sugar. See, we be making love constantly, that's why my eyes are for shade, blood burgundy. The way that we kiss is unlike any other way that I... Thank you, you too. And the tower is right behind me. It took about maybe 20 minutes away from my hostel. You know, when they built this tower ages ago, the foundation of it wasn't really strong. And when you think about life, friendships, relationships, or anything that you're trying to build, you have to make sure that the foundation of whatever you're building is strong, otherwise, it will lean. So the thing about traveling by yourself is that you have to keep asking people for photos. A girl's gotta have a photo and you have to have no shame. You just have to be like, excuse me, another one. Excuse me, and another one. <laughs> and it's actually really tall. I'm not gonna go in because I have to go to Florence and my train is in an hour. Kissing what I'm kissing, what I'm missing, won't you listen? Uh, brown sugar, babe. I guess I ought to love, I don't know how to be in love. Brown sugar, New so I've just arrived at the Dumo. Dumo? I don't know how to pronounce it. But it's basically the Italian word for cathedral. So it's right behind me. Oh, sugar, when you're close to me, you love me right down to my knees. Hey, whatever you let me hit. So we've climbed all the way up to the top, and it was really, really hard. All the sweat, the tears, and the pain. Just look at the view. I don't even regret it a little bit. Lauren. Brian, yeah, what do you say? Lauren. <laughs> caramel with the cocoa eyes. Even got a big sister by the name of Chaka Cha. Brown sugar, babe. I guess how awful love don't know how to behave. So I made it all the way up to the top and it is absolutely beautiful and it's just in time for sunset and your girl was literally down there if it focuses where that bridge is and we climbed that dome over there and walked all the way down to over here all the way down here and then all the way up 
to her. Bed, and we have extra blankets over there. Actually, really, really cute. Mirror. Very clean. Very, very clean. Hey, yo, Moscow is here. 